Okay. Start tayo. So for today, dahil tapos na ang inyong midterm exam at ang inyong uh, academic break, start na tayo sa pagkaklase ulit. Welcome back to reality. <laughs> okay. So we'll be starting off with module 5. And this is typewriting identification. Okay. So, ano nga ba ang typewriter? So, a typewriter is a writing machine with a keyboard for reproducing letters, figures, symbols, and any and other resembling printed ones. A machine that can reproduce printed characters on papers or that can produce printed letters and figures on paper. It is a machine designed to print or impress type characters on paper. It is a machine designed to print or impress type characters on paper as a speedier and more legible substitute for handwriting. It is a hand-operated character printer for printing written messages one character at a time. It can be either mechanical or electromechanical. Characters are produced when the typist presses a key that strikes a ribbon to transfer ink or carbon impressions onto the paper. Although almost entirely replaced by computers, typewriters are still used in circumstances of criminal activity. So I assume uh, nakakita na ang lahat ng typewriter. Siguro naman, kahit minsan sa buhay niya, nakakita na kayo ng typewriter. Ito ang sinaunang printer. Yan, bago nagka-printer, typewriter muna at direkta ang... Um, Pagka pindot mo ng key, diretsong mapiprint. Kaya siya typewriter. Diretso na siyang may... Kung ano yung type mo, maisusulat na niya agad. Okay. Sabi nga dito, uh, sabi kanina, it is a machine. So, of course, it involves different mechanisms inside it. And then, it is strike. So, ipipindutin mo siya. Okay. And you might be wondering, bakit kailangan pa to pag-aralan? Eh, bibihira naman na ang gumagamit ng typewriter. Majority ng mga establishments ngayon, mga organizations, printers, and computers na ang gamit. Wala na halos talaga gumagamit ng typewriter. Meron pa konti, pero mga ilan na lang. Uh, bakit kailangan pag-aralan? This is because, Hindi lang naman kasi yung mga present documents ang maaaring ma-involve sa criminal activity or scrutiny. Maaaring pati yung mga old old documents ay subject to scrutiny din, maging question documents sila. Ay, ako mismo, my birth certificate is still or was uh, typewritten. Kaya yung PSA copy ko ng birth certificate ko, typewritten siya na scanned. Gets nyo? Nakaprint siya dun sa special paper ng PSA, pero pag tinignan mo siya, uh, scanned copy lang siya nung typewritten, yung original ko na birth certificate. Siguro yung sa inyo, hindi na printed na siguro yung inyo. Dahil uh, nag exist na ang printers noon. <laughs> okay. So, kaya kailangan pa rin siyang pag-aralan kasi mai-involve pa rin or posible pa rin ma-involve ang documents, ang old documents written or type written. Okay, paano nga ba nag-evolve ang typewriters? Ano yung alamat niya? So, several typewriters like machines were developed during the latter part of the 17th century. The first patent, familiar kayo sa patent, ito ay kumbaga parang rehistro ang dating. The first patent, however, was granted by Queen Anne of England to help to Henry Mill in 1714 for a machine designed to reproduce a letter of the alphabet. So, kumbaga, ang unang nakapagbigay ng, sabi na, yun na nga, rehistro para doon sa isang machine na nagre-reproduce ng letters ng alphabet was in 1714. Within the next hundred years, at least 50 attempts were made by various inventors to develop a typing machine. In 1829, William Austin Burt invented the typographer. In 1833, a French patent was given to the French inventor Xavier Progen for a machine that embodied for the first time one of the principles employed in modern typewriters, the use for each letter or symbol of separate type bars 
actuated with separate keys. Kumbaga, parang sa keyboard natin ngayon, pag may pinundot ka dito na isa, na isang letter, isang letter lang din ang lilitaw sa screen mo. Ganun din ang um, ang machine na na-invento nga ni Xavier Progen. May pipindutin kang isang key, tapos may separate type bar siya. Type bar ay yung umaangat na gano'n pag may pinindot ka. Yun yun. As in, literal na yung bar na yun. <laughs> type bar ang tawag doon. So for each key, there is a separate type bar. In 1843, American inventor Charles Grover, Grover Thurber invented the typewriter which prints through a metal ring that revolved horizontally above the plate and was equipped with a series of vertical keys or plungers having pieces of type of the bottom. The machine was operated by revolving the wheel until the correct letter was centered over the printing position of the plate pen and then striking the key. The plate pen is yung cylinder sa na kung saan mo nilalagay yung papel. Na naiimagine niyo ba? Kapag inikot nyo, yun siya yon, siya yung nagpapaikot doon sa papel. Okay, yun yung plate and yung pag pinindot kang key, magi-strike yung type bar natin, yung na-strike na yon, yung nagre-receive nung pressure nung strike is your plate and. Okay. So yon, paano tong typewriter na to? Familiar kayo sa Uh, mga sinaunang telepono, yung iniikot mong ganun. Nyari, uh, parang nakapoint lang siya dito. May ganyan. Tapos may, may mga, mali, mga bilog. Ang gagawin mo, for example, the number na tatawagan mo ay 0910. For example lang. Pupat, lalagay mo, tatapat mo yung 0 dito. Tapos iikot siya. Tapos 9. Hanapin mo yung 9, itatapat mo dito. Tapos babalik siya pag nirelease mo yung kamay mo. Tapos hanapin mo ulit yung 1 tututok mo dito. Then yung zero, ganun siya. Parang ganun din itong na-invento ni Thurber. Nga lang dito, letters or other characters. Then, several attempted to produce machines designed to make embossed impression that could be read by the blind. One such machine that could be developed by the American inventor Alfred Ely Beach in 1856 resembled the modern typewriter in the arrangement of its keys and type bars, but embossed its letters on a narrow paper strip instead of a sheet. So, ito ang alamat ng Braille. Familiar kayo sa Braille? Yung, uh, syempre, mga bulag. Hindi nga nakakakita kasi nga bulag siya. <laughs> so, ang paraan para sila ay makabasa ay uh, naka-embossed yung letters. Of course, ako hindi ako marunong magbasa ng Braille. Pero sila may uh, paraan sila. So, yun. Okay. A similar machine created by the American inventor Samuel W. Francis and patented by him in 1856 had a circular arrangement of type bars. A moving paper holder, a bell that rang to signal the end of a line. Actually, yung mga typewriters na mga huling na produce. Ganun din, pag umaabot ka na sa dulo, tutunog siya. Yun yun. A bell that rang to, the, to signal the end of a line. An inked ribbon. The keyboard arrangement of Francis machine resembled the black and white keys of a piano. The development of the first practical typewriter begun in 1866 by Christopher Latham Schultz. Kumbaga, ito na yung uh, kamuka nung ginagamit na typewriter ngayon. Siya ang naka-imbento, kaya practical yung nagagamit na. Uh, he developed the first practical typewriter in cooperation with two mechanics, Charles Glidden and Samuel Soul. Yan. Si Christopher. Si Tito Chris. Close kami. In 1874, Christopher Latham Schultz en entered an agreement with Elifalet, Remington, and Sons, Gunsmiths, and Sewing Machines Manufacturers. The company produced the Remington model. One, you might be familiar with the term Remington. Uh, narinig nyo na yan sa DT4 ninyo. At maririnig nyo pa yan sa ballistics ninyo na subject. Baka yung iba yung mga prof na babanggit nila yan. 
uh, Remington is a uh, ano to? baril. Ayan. At yung kompanya nga na yon ang unang ang gumawa ng pinakaunang practical typewriter ni Bento ni Tito Chris. And it was named Remington Model 1. Ito. Ito yan. Four years later, syempre, nag, nag, nag-develop ulit, nag-improve. Uh, nagkaroon ng Remington Model 2. It was introduced having both the lower and upper case of the alphabet. Dati kasi, purely upper case, but now meron ng upper case and then lower case in Remington Model 2. Next is Mark Twain or Samuel Clemens. He was among the first to buy a typewriter and the first to submit a typewritten manuscript to a publisher. And then George Bernard Shaw recognized the importance of typewriter when he became the first playwright to use it as a stage prop in Canada in 1897. So sa mga play, ginawa siyang props. At ang gumawa nga nun, ang pinakaunang gumawa nun is si Tito George. And then when Thomas Edison, narinig nyo na to nung high school kayo or elementary sa mga science subjects ninyo, Thomas Edison uh, visited Schultz to see his machine. He forecasted that typewriters would one day be operated by electricity. At nagkatotoo nga. Soon afterwards, Edison built such typewriter. He used a series of magnet which made the machine cumbersome and too expensive to be marketed. Naging masyadong mabigat dahil nga madaming magnet at masyadong mahal kaya hindi siya mabenta. Siyempre kung mah- mahal lang isang bagay, walang bibili. At hindi naman siya commensurate dun sa purpose or dun sa use ng bagay na yun. Ayan. The first practical electric typewriter was invented in 1914, so World War I by James F. Smathers of Kansas City. In 1933, the International Business Machines, narinig nyo na rin to, mga computers, IBM, introduced the first commercially successful electric typewriter in the business world. The latest development in electric typewriter is one which not only eliminates type bars and movable carriages, but can use six interchangeable type of type faces. Kumbaga, may iba-ibang font. The first basic change in typewriting appeared in 1961. Despite of the... Oops, sorry. Despite of the revolutionary advances in typewriting capabilities, one essential element has remained unchanged since the first Remington, the keyboard arrangement, nicknamed QWERTY. Yung ginagamit din natin sa present keyboards natin, di ba? QWERTY, ano? QWERTY, U-I-O-P, A-S-D, F-G-H, J-K-L. Yan pa rin. Uh, the keyboard arrangement, nicknamed QWERTY for... The top line of letters was designed to make it easier for salesmen to use the machine. A much more A much more efficient arrangement was devised in 1936 by August Vorak. Sa Kapampangan, pag sinabi mong Vorak, putik 'yon. <laughs> anyway, the process of changing over the Vorak seemed to Seemed so difficult that it was never even begun. So yung mas efficient daw itong uh, arrangement na ito, arrangement ng letters. But dahil babaguhin na naman, nahirapan daw sila, hindi na nilang nila tinuloy. So hanggang ngayon, QWERTY pa rin ang gamit natin. The earliest comment in writing by a document examiner on typewriting identification was made by Hagan in 1894 uh, you might you have heard of him uh, sa history ng writing uh, William Hagen he wrote that all typewriter machines even when using the same kind of type become more or less peculiar by use as to the work done by them so nagkakaroon ng uh, peculiarities ang isang machine. Depende sa kung sino ang gumagamit. So, ibig sabihin nun, kahit na pare-parehas yan, 
magkakaroon sila ng pagkakaiba base sa paggamit ng isang tao o paggamit ng certain typewriter na yon. These peculiarities positively connect them with the printing done by the machine. For example, etong may typewriter ako. Dahil madalas kong ginagamit yung letter L E S I kasi laging lagi kong tina-type yung pangalan ko. So mapapansin natin na siguro ma medyo mapupudpod yung mga letters na yon kumpara doon sa ibang typewriters. Kasi nga ito madalas kong ginagamit itong letters na to, itong characters na to kumpara doon sa ibang mga typewriters. So sabi ko nga, yung peculiarities na yon magiging individual characteristics. At yung individual characteristics na yon this leads to the identification of a certain machine. Parang sa question documents din. This exposition of the principles of typewriting identification was followed in 1900 by Ames. Uh, siya yung nagsulat ng Ames on Forgery who wrote that the identity of writing by different operators as well as that done on different machines can be done with considerable degree. Different operators have their own peculiar methods which differ widely in the location of date, address, margins, punctuation, spacing, signing, as well as impressions from touch. Siyempre, dahil tayo, magkakaiba tayo ng paglalagay ng margin. Baka yung iba hindi pa naglalagay ng margin, di ba? Yung iba... Nauuna ang pagsusulat ng date bago yung addressee. Yung iba, nauuna yung addressee bago yung date. Kasi, di naman tayo lahat sumusunod sa business format, di ba? Baga may kanya-kanya tayong buhay. So, yung kanya-kanyang buhay na yon ay matatawag din natin na individual characteristics ng isang writer. At yon mapapansin natin, uh, makapag, makatutulong para ma-identify kung sino ang nag-type ng isang document sa isang typewriter. In several articles written between 1901 to 1907, Albert Osborne, papa nyo, father of question documents, defined the principles of typewriting identification used today. He called it the landmarks of typewriting identification. Later on, ide-discuss natin yung mga uh, highlights nitong isinulat ni Daddy O, ni Albert Osborne. Okay. Uh, there are uh, several types of typewriters. The conventional typewriters using type bars. Pika type. Uh, 10 CPI. Pag sinabi natin, CPI characters per inch. So, ilang characters ang kasha in one inch. Pag sinabi natin characters, these are letters, numbers, Uh, symbols, punctuation marks. Basta kahit anong makikita ninyo sa typewriter na pwedeng pindutin. Character yun. Okay? So it has big prints and can type 10 characters to an inch and 85 characters on a sheet of paper. We also have the elite type. 12 CPI naman. So mas maliit ang letters nito kasi 12 ang kas kasya sa isang inch. Kumpara sa pi ka, 10 ang kasya. So, mas malapan siya. Okay, so elite 12 CPI is a type of typewriter that can type 12 characters to an inch and 102 characters on one whole sheet of paper. It has 6 CPI, teletype machine, and special typewriters na kung saan ka siya ang 14 to 16 CPI. So, maliit na maliit lang talaga letters niyan or characters nun. We also have... Uh, typewriters using single element or ball All typewriter machines capable of typing 10 or 12 CPI Changing the horizontal spacing is done easily By the flip of a switch So from here May pipindutin ka lang O may ipiflip ka lang Mapupunta ka na sa next line Makakapag-type ka na Kung baga sa keyboard natin ngayon Ito yung enter And then typewriter using print wheel or electronic typewriter. This is a typewriter equipped with a disk type device called a print wheel. This contains all characters represented on the keyboard. This machine has the capability of typing 10, 12, and 15 letters per inch. Okay, questions.